Well, a few days before the trade deadline in the NHL, Ken Holland has finally done something for the Edmonton Oilers after a lot of speculation after he said the trade deadline, they would be getting a player back and his name was Evander Kane. But hey, they have made a trade. Welcome into Gillis TV. And if you're new to the channel and enjoy anything NHL, anything injury news, whatever it is, we got it covered here for you on the channel as we are on our way to a thousand subscribers. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, that'd be greatly appreciated. And you'll probably see me on future Dolan TV shows as well. Anyway, Ken Holland finally got off of his you know what and finally pulled the trigger on a Yessa Pooley RV trade. You heard that right. Yessa Pooley RV is headed to the Carolina Hurricanes. With no retained salary. And this is, you know, kind of in between for fans where a lot of fans were kind of done with him not panning out to be that pick, that high first round pick he was. And not producing the way he should have been. And then goes and produces what he did last year. And then all of a sudden he's back to his same old self. So they have made a trade with the Carolina Hurricanes and they will be getting back... Patrick Pistola, who is a 2019 third-round pick from the Carolina Hurricanes, who is currently playing in Finland right now. He currently has 15 goals and 23 assists for 38 points in 56 games over there. Of course, he is unsigned, so nothing goes against the salary cap in that aspect of things. Now, like I said, fans are going to be kind of like, hey, what are we doing we might as well just kept Pooley RV. Some fans are going to be like, hey, thank God he's gone, and so on and so forth. But this is a win-win trade for both teams as the Carolina Hurricanes needed to get up to that LTIR cap space relief. This helps them. They weren't going to go out and get a guy worth $10 million on the market to get up to where they needed to. So this is a filler for them. And this is also a filler for... The Edmonton Oilers where they need a cap space for maybe a defenseman coming in. You know, Carlson's kind of been shot down, but apparently they have re-engaged in talks for Jacob Chicker. And now, knowing that space is there, they have also talked to Columbus for a defenseman from there. And Matthias Ekholm from the Nashville Predators, who they have been interested in Kyler Yamamoto in the past. Well, you take Yamamoto's contract plus Pooley Yarvies, there's Matthias Ekholm's, you know, salary right there. But you're going to probably have to move a defenseman for a defenseman in unless you feel that Vinny D'Arnais is not suited to be in the NHL, which he is. So one way or another, they have to trade a defenseman or something to make room for whoever they bring in if they do. Now, with the corresponding move of this trade, the Edmonton Oilers have gone from an emergency loan call-up for DeHarnay. He is now on the active roster, and they have also called up Devin Shore in, a, in this parlay of things. Which is, you know, Shore has proved over the last few games that he's there to stay. And, you know, he has outplayed a couple players, but just because the whole two-way Fanatigan they have going there. He's the easiest to go up and down from the minors and so on and so forth. So like I said, this is a win-win trade for the Canes and the Oilers. The Oilers move some salary to try and upgrade hopefully their defense or find a right winger that can actually do something in the top six because right now it's pretty darn awful for our top six right side. But hey, this is Gillis TV. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm on out of here.